What's up guys, Xavier here with you on the American Horror Story After Show here on the stream.tv. Sitting here with my lovely co-host. Hey guys, Kristen Carroll. I'm so excited to be back this week. I know, I know. So You're exciting. out and we're glad to have you back. And uh, the lovely Helena Matson. how are you doing? I'm great. We Thanks are for having stoked. Me. So we have we had um, <laughs> Jamie Brewer on the uh, on the show last week, and then we're just keeping this role going. We have another just quirky character from from this uh, <laughs> oh my God. from this show, and we loved how you left off last week. <laughs> yeah, pretty intense. Yeah, right. So tell. I mean, like, what was it like to be a Swedish backpacker on American Horror Story Hotel? <laughs> how was what was your experience like? Oh man, it's been it's been such a roller coaster. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's been a great great experience. The the um, the crew is amazing, and and the cast is obviously amazing and so talented, and um, and it's it's just been an awesome awesome experience. And you're uh, and you're crossing your fingers. You I mean obviously the the show is still filming. You know, anyone could be getting called up at any time. Are you sort of crossing your fingers for that, or do you have you kind of had enough of locking you know, pages <laughs> and? You still get the blood off, off you yeah. know. No, no, I I I just I just love working on the show. So yeah. you know, whatever comes my way, I, yeah. I will take it. And um, yeah, that's the thing about this show. You never know what's what's gonna happen. Yeah. How did I, it how did it come across like your desk? I'm always curious because with this kind of a show, like it's so secretive that I'm sure the person like the character you read for may not have ended up being who you played. Like, how did that work for you? Exactly. You know, when when I first read the script, I, I I didn't know where it was going or anything like that. So you just go with what you have at the yeah. moment and, yeah. and see what happens. And what was the feeling like? What was I mean? What was the audition process like for this? Like, um, was it extensive or? Um, it it was it wasn't that bad. It mm. was it was just one audition mm. and. Um, I remember I didn't hear anything for for a few weeks, so yeah. I thought, oh, that didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I got the call, and and I didn't really know how many episodes or, or what I was was in for, yeah. but um, but I was I was really happy to, Go, to yeah. get on. And um, tell us, so we I I mean I don't know the full story on this, but Lady Gaga sent you some dead roses. <laughs> I think we have, yeah, a, I think we have, we have a, picture a picture of it too. Oh my god. So you tell this is it. So we have it up on the screen. Oh. So Lady Gaga sent you this. We saw this from you Instagram. The teddy bear's head um, is like half ripped tell us off, the story. right? So what, what happened? Well, there? one of the first days uh, on set, I, I walk into my trailer and, and there's this beautiful wrapped gift with beautiful ribbons and, and, and all this stuff on it and I open it and it's and it's a bouquet of dead flowers <laughs> and this little teddy bear that's been torn up. And a little note from her saying something about, I look forward to devour you this season or something <laughs> like that, uh, which I thought was really clever yeah. and, and, and thoughtful in, yeah. a, in a weird way. <laughs> wow, man. And what, I mean, while we're on that topic, like what was your experience working with Lady Gaga like? I haven't gotten the chance to, to work with her a lot, mm -hmm. but um, I really admire her a lot. I think uh, she. Wait, was it you that she killed, or no, that we saw? It was, you? It was uh, my friend. Yeah, yes. 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 Go. Yeah. All right. So you never really came face to face there. No, just on set. Yeah. But, but so she was the there scene. while you were filming. What, and what was your uh, perception of her just on set with your experience? She seems super lovely yeah. and and really wonderful, and and she seems really into the show, and and she's really sweet and funny. Yeah, I heard that she's. I mean. Reports from everyone is that she's she's really down to earth, right? Mm -hmm. Did you find that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, good. All right. Story checks out for Lady Gaga. Everyone we've interviewed <laughs> says that she's great. It's like, all right, <laughs> we get it. No, she I'm must gonna be good. I'm gonna girl out for a minute. You got to work with like I think two of the hottest guys on the show, Matt Bomer. Of course, like his eyes are just piercing on screen. I can't even imagine a person. Mm. And then Wes <laughs> Bentley as well. <laughs> like, yeah, there's I a lot get of shots. Should, should I stay? Or should I stay? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, carry on. Oh yeah, there's a lot of handsome guys on the show, and 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 they're not just handsome; they're also uh, extremely talented. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's it's been awesome to work with all of them. For sure. All right, so we're ready to get in and like yes. rip this uh, episode up. <laughs> they so, left it on such a crazy note that we'll talk about later. But we all looked at each other and go, "Wait a minute, what just is this? Like Mean Girls? She ran in front of the bus? Like I don't know what's going on." Right. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, that's it. So I mean, I don't know. I don't know where to start on this, but I mean, let's start from the very start of the episode. So they break down this wall, and then all we see is these 
zombies that just jump out. And mm-hmm. at that time, did anyone see? Did anyone see that it was? Uh, I'm blanking it. Um, R- that it was R- Tr- R- it was like Tristan's character. Oh. Did you? I like I sort of caught it for a glimpse. I'm like, that's weird. I didn't catch it for the, when Me when we either. first saw them. Mm-hmm. I was just kind of confused at like, okay, are these previous vampires? Yeah. Are we introducing? Zombies? Actually, no. It was How more. It was we... actually more when the, so obviously um, Marcy from season one, the real the realtor was uh, was brought back in, which was like another tie, which is really cool. I, f- I think when they attacked her, I saw it was him. Okay. And I was like, point. hang on a second, has Tristan come back? Like, you know, is he... Because, I mean, everyone was talking about that all week. So it's like we saw Lady Gaga, like, the end of last week, we saw Lady Gaga kill him. And everyone's like, hang on a second, I thought he was a vampire. Mm-hmm. Can they die? What's the rules here, you know? And then... People, and then they, yeah, they explain vampires can die if, if you're stupid. Go, yeah. You know, <laughs> otherwise, you're immortal forever. Go, yeah. But then the question gets to be, okay... Is, is it because he's already dead? Can he not be a ghost and he's, he's just gone? Or yeah. now, does, now is he a ghost? Because we don't have any vampire ghosts sure. yet. Mm. So can he still haunt that hotel? You know, because your character is now a ghost. Mm-hmm. You're still hanging around. You're still Everybody is. Yeah. Right. So you found kind of, your purpose. <laughs> wow, that's getting now really complicated. <laughs> I know. Well, does, that's it, it. Does, like, can vampires work? have a purpose or are they just, once they're dead, they're dead? Oh, man. That's, that's the question that was in the everyone's big question. lips, right? So, yeah. So, so when a tr- Tristan showed up, it's like, wait a minute. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, yeah, and then this whole, uh, I mean, this whole story starts to unravel about uh, Rudolph Valentino and Lady Gaga. What did you think of their, uh, the makeovers they had back then? Mm. Oh, yeah. so I think fun. she was stunning. Yeah. I, she's just rocking every outfit and every look and every hairstyle. It's, it's, uh, I love those scenes when yeah. they were dancing and, and all that stuff. Yeah, it was. I loved how they were flashing to uh, to black and white as well, mm-hmm. which was really cool. Yeah, I, I think I mean, it's she, fun. She they looked picked... a little unrecognizable too, like Lady Gaga for a second there. Yeah, because the short brown hair, and I think it's fun too. You know, uh, Ryan Murphy's been picking all of these. We, when we had the serial killers earlier, they were all real, based off of real people, and now we had. He, he's saying. Rudolph Valentino and his second wife Natasha that that they ended up being vampires and they're still alive. <laughs> like, yeah, well, I think that's pretty cool how they mm-hmm. exactly. So Kristen's like googling as we're watching and she's like, oh, they're real people. And like, well, I knew Rudolph Valentino was, but I was like, do they just like is that like her, his actual wife yeah. and how and because he usually bases it off of their life a little yeah. bit. And the rumor was is that you know they had kind of an interesting like love love connection his first wife was maybe in like a love triangle with another woman and all yeah. this kind of stuff that you that's what I was more googling was that I'm like yeah hey, no Rudolph Valentino is like a legit person yeah um in that era but where, where is he going with this yeah. so and I guess it also answers that question I don't know if you saw they they alluded to the fact that um I mean you see Mr. March a couple episodes ago you see him and he's there He's talking about his wife, and you just see you just see blonde hair. So it was like, is that Lady Gaga? And clearly it was. You called it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, most people. I thought did. maybe like he. I felt like that was too obvious at first. I was yeah. like, maybe Roberts is coming back yeah. or some, so, some and other. That, so that's the other question. So does that mean that Bartholomew is his kid? Did you, did you, see, did you see Bart Bartholomew? Oh. Obviously, was the like little monster baby. Is that is that uh, Mr. March's kid or is that Rudolph's kid? I tend to think I, it's actually Mr. March's only because once she was, because she obviously had the baby after she was turned. Mm-hmm. She was only turned when she saw them again um, at the, um, what do you call the building? The, like, the, yeah, the cathedral, uh, whatever, um, yeah. But when she was visiting where he was buried, and that's when she got turned was over there. Mm-hmm. So, and then they were going to meet her at the train station next. So the, they didn't have time to get busy in, in that um, span of time. So yeah. I'm guessing she felt neglected when they didn't show up at the train station. Mm-hmm. She just thought that she got ditched, she probably went mm-hmm. home, and just was like, yeah, do what you want to me, Mr. Yeah. March. And then she oh, winds man. up pregnant. That's my guess. What do you think of, uh, what do you think of, what do you think of Evan Peters in this role? Oh, uh, I think he's amazing. Yeah. Uh, absolutely amazing. He's, yeah. he's, um, I mean, I, w- I was finding it a little hard. I wasn't buying it so much at the very start, but I, I am now, and he's kind of, he's freaking yeah. me out. Like, <laughs> even his, like, jaw movements and uh, in the way, just the facial expressions he's pulling are really creepy, right? Mm-hmm. And I think, and I'm, I'm used to his accent now. I think he's doing a great job of that. I think he's, yeah, I think he's nailing it. I um, think he's kind of fun, too, because, like, all these mm-hmm. other characters that we see, they're 
they're kind of like creepy in a different way. He's yeah. just having fun. He's yeah. like, yeah. I'm gonna kill people, and yeah, and that's creepy. What that's doing. what makes it creepy. So why do you think Lady Gaga, when she walked in on him like murdering someone, why did she all of a sudden turn so evil and was like, why don't you kill like people that we can actually get something from, and next time let me watch? Like, since when did she, I mean, she was, she seemed like a lovely girl at the start, you know? Why did she turn that way? Yeah, it's, it's confusing. It's like, she's good, she's bad, and then, yeah. yeah. What do you think? I tend to think, she said she kind of embraced the darkness, and I think it was because these two people, her first love, and one of them died, and the other one didn't answer any of her calls and just left her. So here's a guy that literally saved her from death and yeah. she was going to jump out the sally window yeah. and mm -hmm. you know and and he said i'm going to take care of you yeah. and i'm so she was probably just kind of more connected to him than necessarily the the darkness at first just mm -hmm. because there was somebody there for her yeah. and she felt so alone mm -hmm. Good insight. Yeah. Glad you're here. <laughs> that was good. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, so they got married. Obviously, yeah, so she's about to commit suicide. She got married. Like, it all, I mean, I th what did you guys think about, like, how f far in depth they've gone with Lady Gaga in this one? I mean, basically, like, we, I was trying to, like, separate the topics to talk about for tonight, and it was literally just, <laughs> just Gaga. Of Lady Gaga. I loved it. We finally I saw her. I loved it, too. Yeah, yeah, just to see that backstory and, and... Yeah, to, to get some, I feel like we got some answers, yeah. but still a lot of questions too. Yeah. So. So, so it's like kind of cool <laughs> to see where this, uh, where it all came from. The, the I mean, even them being van like immortal vampires, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I, mean, go, I mean, Valentino's story about, what was it like? So he was on the train and then he, I actually, I had the name of that, um, of that producer, F, um, uh, F, w, w. F. Maroche. Mar he was the director of yeah. Nosferatu which I really like that connection. Um, I love, which is um, the movie actually that her and Donovan saw at the beginning mm -hmm. of the series when they killed that couple. It was by him. Yeah, it was, it, it was, Nos, it was Nosferatu, it was in wow. the background. Mm. So I kind of like that up. connection. And yeah. if mm. you haven't seen Shadow of the Vampire, I highly recommend it. Willem Dafoe's in it, he's amazing. Yep. But mm -hmm. that's the movie that's based off of Nosferatu mm -hmm. filming. Mm. And there's so many like, if you guys haven't seen it, you need to see it because it's so good. It was nominated for a bunch of awards mm -hmm. and it's kind of talking about all these creepy things started happening on set and the actor who played Nosferatu, some of the people on set thought he was an actual vampire. Really? Yeah. No way. Jeez. Crazy. What did you guys think about them using uh, the choice to use uh, Finn Whitrock for both characters? I thought it was perfect. Yeah. Well, because yeah. she said earlier that, you know, he reminded um, her of of her past mm -hmm. love. So then that mm -hmm. got all of us asking, like, okay, who was her past yeah. love? And then it ends up to be Rudolph Valentino. Yeah, yeah. and what did you, like, I, I, it takes a bit of you getting used to seeing people with uh, with contacts in, right? It's like a little, <laughs> uh, it takes a bit to get used to. But, so I guess, like, the bombshell was that they've been in the hotel the whole time. Mm -hmm. So they were just locked up there and she had no idea about it. Yeah, very creepy. She, and like she, like they showed her like, I wonder why she was scared, you know how um, Iris was like, I've never seen you look scared before? Mm -hmm. Why do you, th I mean, if she had no idea what was behind there, why would she be so scared when a wall was knocked down? I think it was just because she didn't know what, what was, like she, mm. I think she likes to be in control of everything mm -hmm. and all of a sudden now she's not. Mm -hmm. And that's, what did you guys think for that as well? Yeah, it's like, I, uh, I, I'm i still trying to work out why she, I mean, as I said, it is the first time that we've seen Lady, Lady Gaga look scared, so it's like, why, why mm. so much right now, and how, what, I'm trying to remember, did the scene just cut when she, when she put it together that he, uh, that he had done it, that he had um, trapped them in that, in that room, did it, did it cut, what did she do, what did she do after that? She just walked away, right? I'm trying to remember, I'm like, is she, I mean, she can't kill a dead man, but I mean, like, she's probably going to do something, right? Mm -hmm. I think she'd have to. I don't know. Get exorcism? <laughs> yeah. Get him out of that hotel? Guys, like, and I, just, I have a question real quick as well. So, like, two episodes ago, we saw an elementary school turn Yeah, they into, haven't talked about the little kids. Like, <sighs> turn into, like, a vampire playground. Yeah. What is going to happen? What, like, you can't, just, you can't just infect a whole elementary school and then not go back to it. Well, then I'm kind of wondering too, we saw how scared she was with this hallway and I'm wondering if, if now that these, maybe part of the reason she was scared is if somebody turned other people and like didn't tell her, 
of it could get her in trouble, it could mm. lead back to her. Yeah. So I think mm. when she finds out that uh, Alex <laughs> yeah. helped a small child that infected an entire school, yeah. that that's going to end up And does she know wrong. that Iris is a vampire? Mm-mm. I feel like Lady Gaga is dropping the ball a bit here, you know. Like she could hear, she could hear Liz's heartbeat last week, and now she doesn't know she has a vampire standing in front of her. Probably just because Iris is so non-controversial. Did you get to work with, or um, you you work with Kathy Bates on mm -hmm. on scene? How was that? How was she? I love. She her. is so lovely to work with, and and so inspiring to watch. Mm -hmm. um, so it it was just. So much fun to work with her. Even and being locked in a cage by her. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb, I love yeah. doing those scenes because, yeah. for the most part, I was just watching her and and uh, really enjoying her and uh, Sarah Paulson, um, just enjoying their performances. Yeah. Do they joke? Do they joke a lot on set, or is it kind of they stick to the script and keep it flowing, and then when they're off set, are they kind of fun? Like, how does that work? Uh, they definitely have a lot of fun and joke around and um, and all that stuff mm -hmm. for sure uh, <laughs> but then when it's time to get serious they do get serious yeah when it's like all right just get the day <laughs> come on um and also i was gonna say like how many people have we seen lady gaga having sex with like there's been so many there's flashes there's been a few yeah right like just throughout time just you just seeing lady gaga's butts like, you haven't it had sex with her yet though you yeah. haven't been to yeah. sex with her. It has to be later, I'm, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and mm. right, like, so we're, I mean, talking about sex scenes, we had a crazy vampire <laughs> threesome with you and your Swedish backpacker friend and, uh, and Wes Bentley. What was that like? How was that filmed? How long did it take? How well, much blood did you use? What is, um, Matt Bomer said he had, um, I forgot what he called, like, the thing that covered his private areas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they give you guys any of that? Is it uh, yeah, yeah, you do get like, um, it's almost like a sticker. Yeah. And <laughs> that's sort of like a thong and yeah. then they glue it in your butt crack. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, it's very fancy. Yeah. But, but that scene was a blast to shoot. Um, you know, reading it, you, you think, uh, you know, oh, it's going to be a little bloody yeah. and all that stuff, but really shooting it, yeah. it was so bloody, really? like crazy bloody. And, you know, by the end of it, you know, we're covered in all this blood and that blood gets really, really sticky. Yes. Mm. So at the end of it, we were like basically stuck yeah. to each other. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, Wes, you're going nowhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was quite a process. And what, like, what's the, are you guys sort of like laughing? Did you or get like, drunk what's, beforehand? What was, he, what was he like to work with in that? In oh, that he, sort? he's so easy yeah. to work with. And, um, yeah, we just, we just had fun. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was How very long did it take bloody. To shoot? It took like an entire day. Like really? that it, it seems mind. like it's you know it goes by so fast, but mm. you know once you get bloody, then you have to clean it off and and go back again. Mm. And um, how many takes did it? Um, you know they 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 always want to get it in a few takes mm. when there's that much blood involved. I yeah. had no idea it was yeah. going to be that bloody, but. <laughs> yeah. The, the Camilla was rigged with a, a tube that went into her neck area that she was behind me and then when her neck opens up I thought she vomited on yeah. my back yeah. but <laughs> it was this cool. so much blood just gushing out and that was that the idea that you I mean it was kind of dark but the idea was that you guys were cutting each other and like uh, you know she flipped her head back and the neck opened up yeah. I guess Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's a, it's a right. tricky thing <laughs> to shoot. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm glad we got that out of the way. But yeah, getting on to, uh, speaking of Wes Bentley, getting on to his character. Um, so the first thing we see is that he's broken, he's like gotten, just not given up. Mm -hmm. And he's broken back into the police station, got into a big fight, but somehow like managed to see a little <laughs> detail on a, on a file on the other side of the room. I mean, had he seen the address and all that and to memorize it before he got into the fight? I mean, I think he just saw that it was the West uh, Los Angeles Medical Center and I'm yeah. sure he just kind of knew, okay, I know I know where that is. My, my thought was originally like, oh, he's getting his act together. 
he left the hotel. Yeah. He's seeking help. Like, that's what they made it seem like. Because yeah. everybody's like, why is this guy still here? Why yeah. doesn't he know mm. he's crazy and stuff? And I was like, oh, good for him. Like, he's getting it. Yeah. He's got yeah. influence is coming in. But nope, he was there for the killer. Yeah. Or yeah. try to find the killer. He just seems, re- he's just like relentless. So, yeah, the next part we see is that he's in this hotel. You know, what, like, to me, it's like, so he snuck up behind a guard, got his attention, and then hit him in the face. It's like, if you don't want someone to see, usually this, I mean, not that I know anything about this, or, you know, how, mm. how, how much, like, does a tray even knock <laughs> someone escaped, out? He's, like, knocking all these yeah, people out. Yeah, does a tray, out. does, like a, tr- like, a food tray, would that even knock you out, straight out? I feel like people get knocked out too easy. <laughs> What do you think? What are your thoughts? Um, well, usually I think it's the opposite on this show. I think it's everything is, you know, a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, for so so that was probably one of the easier hits. Yeah, mm-hmm. got, yeah. And so, to, like, I didn't even know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting him to find a small child. No. Oh, no, no, yeah. Because he looked up the name and it said Andrew. Mm-hmm. And then he goes to the room and all of a sudden, like, one of the little minions is in there and you're kind of like okay did did she eat andrew like <laughs> what's i don't know i was a little confused with all of that yeah yeah and i mean did you guys see that you know so she's talking about her backstory and she's really hot in that car and then Could and she's dad, in those, she, yeah, yeah so lady gaga appears so obviously she's connected with all of this and she's obviously i kind of picked it up did you guys pick it up when she was dressed in that uniform and obviously has blonde hair you're like all right this is probably like one of Lady Gaga's little vampires. I think we, we saw her in the room, um, one of the earlier episodes yeah. with Holden, mm-hmm. like in that little yeah. game room. Yeah. But yeah, I totally thought that I knew that that's who it was when they first came in there. Just my question was, why yeah. was she in there and what were her intentions? And all of a sudden, the fact that she's involved in these mm-hmm. murders as yeah. well. It was creepy. Yeah, yeah. so I'm. Uh, I mean... Do we still think John's the killer? I mean, that's, that's, that's what I was like, starting to think. Messages? The, I mean, that's the question. I was question. like, oh my God, is he the one? That's the question. Like, we've, everybody and people have been tweeting in and asking us all year. It's like, I mean, I mean, all year. Really? For like the last month. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, that's it. So it kind of alludes to it. So the ending we saw, um, Ren, her name is, so she, it's like, I'm like, awesome. Like, she's going to take, she's going to take us to like where mm-hmm. this dude is. Mm-hmm. And then, t- I mean... Did she, so do you think do we think that she meant to get hit by that bus? Yeah. So that was suicide. I think she did. I think so. Yeah. And could not could she have not killed herself in the room? She had to wait till she got out and did it so dramatically. Well, maybe she was. Maybe she knows that when you die in the Cortez, like you don't actually die. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's part of the reason she wanted to make sure she was outside of it. But yeah, how she the reason I thought that she purposely did that is she was like, oh, she said you're a nice guy. Like after he said he was gonna kill. Yeah. The, mm. whoever the killer yeah. was and I think she said something around along the lines of you know I don't want it to end yet mm-hmm. and I think mm. that alluded to the fact that he is the killer mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and if she likes him she doesn't want to see, see him, him. Like, kill himself yeah. but I feel I mean as you're that's saying what before, I was thinking too, do you feel but... like that's kind of too obvious that he would be the killer like seeing as everyone's guessed it already I don't believe I didn't guess it until just in this episode, yeah, well, you've been, <laughs> a little you, slow. You've been busy like acting <laughs> on things and being really successful in life. We've been busy nerding out about American Horror Story, so yes. we have been thinking about that a mm-hmm. lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think part of it, um, as well, is is I don't know because everybody was like, "Oh, Lady Gaga's Mr. March's wife," and mm-hmm. of course I was like, "No, that's too easy." Yeah, yeah. And then that ended up happening. Sure. So, so maybe they'll like. It'll, it'll twist it so much that mm-hmm. like that will be the biggest twist, and we never even thought it would happen. Because Liz it was so Taylor obvious. or something yeah. weird like that. All right, that guys. Well, we're gonna give this girl a break from uh, harassing her with questions. We're gonna shoot to a uh, to a small break. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> In case you missed it live. In case you missed it live. In case you missed it live. In case you missed it live, this is for you. 
I love it. That I was freaking out. Oh, oh my God. God. I didn't see any of this coming. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I was like, woo, woo. No, did you get here? No, no. I kill him. Kill him. Definitely kill him. We're cool. Shade. <laughs> the shade, shade left and right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies, let's put your two cents in. Rubbed me the wrong way and the right way. But you were like, well, we want to know what's going to happen. <laughs> um, that was cute. We just want to say yeah. we love you all. Thank you yeah. so much yeah. for your support. You are all seriously the best in the world. Another beautiful so summer much. at the stream.tv. Here we go, guys. Thank you for being here. Peace Woo. out. Bye, guys. What's up guys, welcome back to the American Horror Story After Show here on the stream.tv. If you've just tuned in, we have the lovely Helena Matson <laughs> hanging out with us. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get into some, uh, so some fan questions. We're gonna grill you. Everyone's been tweeting oh. in, because you know, let's face it, we all wanna kinda just know what's going on behind the scenes at American Horror Story Hotel. So Chris is gonna hook it up. All right, first up we have Black Irish Rye. Irish Black Rie? Irish Rye. Rye, gotcha, yeah, that's I why made, I keep I made the in. same mistake, don't worry. All right, Religion. how long were you two in the cages for, and did you aud have to audition for the role, or were you friends with Ryan? <laughs> um, well, I was, I was not friends with Ryan before the show. Everyone wants um, to be there. <laughs> well, now you're friends with him. So yeah. But now I'm friends with him. Yeah. Um, and yes, I auditioned for it. And the other thing, what was that, being in the, in the cages? Cage? Yeah. Um, I think that took like a day or two to shoot. Um, and we got really locked in, like mm -hmm. we could not get out of there. No bathroom uh, stops. But they any. did help us out <laughs> yeah. in between takes yeah. uh, and all that stuff. Wow, it's, it blows my mind how long, like you're saying this, like we spent a full day on the threesome scene, a full day on the cage scene, like, must be a pretty slow, are they shooting multiple things at once? Sometimes there's two units going, yeah. um, and sometimes it's one, but mm -hmm. it's definitely, uh, the show, they definitely take their time yeah. and, mm -hmm. and uh, make sure they get a lot of coverage, lots of angles, mm -hmm. uh, and make sure they really like it. And if they shoot something they don't like, they go back and reshoot it again. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very particular. And it's like full every day is like 15 hour days. It's like super long. It's very, very long days. Yeah. The, the crew is working so hard yeah. and um, everyone is and it's really really long days is it all in the studio or do you film some of that on location uh, most of it is in the studios like the hotel and everything is is built up in a in a studio okay. but but then exteriors and stuff will go to locations for oh my god so do you not all downtown right like doing this <laughs> or they, i feel like they sometimes they almost make like a full fake hotel or is it just kind of like you go to each different Scene in a in a huge like studio area. How did that? Um, the lobby they have built um, the entire thing, and it's got two levels and all that stuff. But but a lot of the rooms, it's walls that they can move and. Yeah. and My yeah. My life is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. Crazy. Next so. one, Basin Boat One. What's the best part of being a killer ghost, and would you act in the horror genre again? <laughs> um, I definitely enjoyed being more of a predator uh, in the, the last previous mm -hmm. episode. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's definitely something enjoyable about that, mm -hmm. uh, especially in contrast to the beginning of the season where I was more of the victim. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do, do more horror for sure. <laughs> Enjoyed it? Rad. Hey, what was your favorite scene to shoot in Hotel Cortez? And if you return next season, what horror would you like to we endure? Got, everyone's doubling up. <laughs> well, let's just ask yeah, the they, they want to ask. Okay, ask so for, okay, first, we'll let's break it down yeah. from uh, Forever Johnny Boy. What was your favorite scene to shoot? shoot. Oh, man. Um, there are, I have so many mm -hmm. favorite scenes, but... Um, Go on the one. top of my head, I, I, I loved the guy coming out of the mattress. I loved doing that scene. <laughs> we had so much fun doing that. I've loved every scene with Kathy Bates mm -hmm. uh, because I love her. Um, and uh, the scene with, the, with Wes, uh, um, 
uh, the, the bedroom scene, we Sticky had a, a yeah. lot of fun with too. Uh, I was going to so, say bloody threesome. Yeah, but, uh, the bloody, <laughs> the the bloodiness was a lot, nice, a lot of fun. So. Let's yeah. call it what it is, right? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Was, is there any like room for improv, or is Ryan kind of like, it's a little more s straight to the script kind of a thing? Um, I mean, it is all scripted mm -hmm. for sure, and 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 you stick to the script, but but Ryan, it's also flexible yeah. to stuff coming up along the way. Sure. For sure. Cool. All right. Was the second part of that question? Oops. Sorry. Um, if you return next season, what horror would you like to endure? <laughs> Johnny oh boy, my God. that's a weird one. <laughs> it would be much easier to, to say what I would not want to endure, yeah, but, but yeah, let's do that. Yeah. What do you let's want to endure? Yeah. Uh, oh my God. I, it's, I'm so like sensitive to this genre, like watching it, yeah. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this girl um, had her head like was so jumpy. We yeah. all watched it together, and every time I look over, she's like, oh, come "Yeah, on, you acted in this girl. You come on, yeah, you yeah." Up. You know, the interesting thing is, you would think when you've worked on the show yeah. and when you've met the crew and the actors and you've seen all the sets, you would think it's it's going to affect you less, but but it's still just as creepy yeah. <laughs> and just as scary. That's crazy. It was, right. um, so I'll kind of round off of that question a little bit. Like, if you weren't a ghost in this one, would you prefer to be a vampire or a human, or what would you, would you what would you play around with? Um, I I like the vampire stuff. It's really cool. Yeah, me too. Agree with you on that one. <laughs> All right. So next question: the Kenton Lane. Uh, would you love to return for season six? I would love to. <laughs> for sure it's you know it, I, I love what Ryan is creating and um, you know it would be an honor to to come back seems like everyone is just sitting by the phone like anyone who's been Waiting on American Horror Story is like come on <laughs> well, I feel like too even at the premiere people were asking kind of okay what's season six and it's kind of like guys season five didn't even come out yet you know that's got to be yeah. kind of mm -hmm. interesting for that yeah. how was the premiere you went to the premiere uh, yeah, it, it was it was great. It was it was so much fun. Everyone was there, and mm -hmm. uh, and it's interesting, like you were saying, it's it's really being written as you go along. So yeah. so people ask you what's what's happening next, or or but nobody really knows. Yeah. They're they're writing as we speak. You can truthfully say I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And why do you? I mean, in your opinion, like what? Like what's the benefit of of writing as you go as he, they go along? Um, I'm sure it's there's a lot of benefits to that. They can kind of, you know, sometimes things takes turns mm -hmm. that you didn't quite expect, mm -hmm. and and also as an actor, you don't really need to know where it's going because, mm -hmm. you know, we we live in the moment yeah. and, and we live what's happening and yeah. we don't necessarily do think, know what's going to happen. Do you think happen. that the writers have like an end goal? Like they have the main twist that it worked out and just how they're going to get their changes? Like. Or they're still like, geez, how are we going to wrap this thing up? Well, like, I guess more, <laughs> the second episode that you were in, had the first one already aired by the time that you had filmed, like, were you completely wrapped when season five? Not wrapped, uh, but done with the last, the two episodes that you were in so far? Yeah, I, I, I was shooting the second episode, I think, when Ryan asked if I would do episode five or something. Mm -hmm. So I think they were writing about three episodes ahead. Yeah. So How long ago did you shoot episode five? Um, or six, like right? Cause maybe a month six, ago. Sorry, yeah. Or maybe, yeah, six, uh, like a month ago. About a month ago So, so it's very recent. Yeah. Wow, man, um, that's crazy. So yeah, it's crazy. We got one fast. more. That's it, that's we're it. good. I have, one, I have one other topic that we forgot to bring up, guys, and I want to address it because it's, uh, it's a really important topic for me. Mm -hmm. Oh. The, the three Australians <laughs> that got brought on, and I actually think I know one of them who might be coming. Crikey, look at this. Tom Oakley. <laughs> so, you know, did, was that not three Crocodile Dundees that yes. they just got in there? Yeah, Do yeah. I sound like that? Um, is that how I is that how I sound? You probably merits? could if you like hammed it up. If like, I yeah, like was be acting ridiculous, like <laughs> the, 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 the directors are like, yeah, just be more Aussie. So I just. I mean, we had to take the hat off of him before he came in, you guys. Yeah. So sure. Oh man, it just it just. It's crazy, but we will talk. To, we actually do have uh, his name's Tom Oakley, one of the Australian guys. He might be coming in the week after next, 
And uh, we can ask. We can ask those questions. Like, did they make you act like that? Do you talk like that? Because I don't, you know? But anyway, Maybe all right. Maybe a certain part of us. I think that right? was the main thing we had to cover for the whole episode. Anything else? I want to ask you what upcoming projects can we see you in? Sure. Oh, um, uh, I have two feature films coming out next year. One is um, a th um, thriller with an um, action thriller with uh, Steven Seagal called Code of Honor. Wow, that's uh, and the then, uh, like that. Yeah, and then another independent film that's called The Loner, that's a drama. Got you. Um, yeah, so. Staying so. busy. Yeah, staying busy. Awesome. All right. Well, <laughs> All thank right. you so much. Yay. Good job. Oh. You got one too. <laughs> Guys, we've been watching the American Horror Story after show. If you want to tweet us and ask any questions about this, make sure you use the hashtag A-H-S-A-S -S, and we'll be tweeting you back all night and all week because we're nerds on this stuff and we love it. <laughs> and we read all of your comments on YouTube and try to answer as much as possible. Exactly. Or at least like them. So. Yeah, another big thanks for Helena Matson for coming in. We really appreciate it. We love your work and we hope to see you back. Thanks and uh, for guys, we'll me. catch you next time. Cheers. <laughs>